Hello and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Ivan. Now in the last episode we started getting ready for our big journey. I'm going to do a bit more of that now and then we're going to go. So one of the things I want to do is place one more of these towers and I'm not sure where I want to place it. I guess I'm just going to place it here. We aren't going to build anything here anyway, I think. And stuff can always be moved. So the key items, let's check this side first. Vessels, probably need a few more of those. And these, we want 40 of the orbital collectors because we are going to mine a full full gas giant. We have the belts and machines, yes. Let's start at the beginning. Power poles. We definitely need those. Um, but we don't need that many to be honest. So let's bring say four stacks ish. And then we have the rest here. We don't need that. Um, miners. We are going to need miners but not that many. So let's just bring uh, everything we have. Um, wh what else? Oh, well, let's keep moving. We don't need a lot of these. Not even sure where they are in the mall here. And uh, let's move on. We don't need a lot of storage. We haven't used one of these in a long time. But let's let's set off the Mark II one. Let's steel and um steel and stone so that goes here i guess i have never really used these i don't i don't really like them that much they aren't often needed oh and did we just complete the um did we just complete the things the carry capacity 101,000, yes. That is a good one to complete. This is placed in a random location. That would be better. We just need one stack of these, I think. Just going to bring a few because when we get to a new planet, we want to plop it down and just plop down a lot of things we have. Landfill though, that's probably something we want in the tower. It's hard to predict how much landfill we need. We might hit a planet with um, not a lot of building space. So let's put that in there. 10,000, yeah, sure, that's, that's a good number. And these are probably good to put in as well because they um, have a small stack size. So let's do that there and oil extractors now we just bring a few stacks 30 20 is more than enough we don't use a lot of these and then here if we are going to use oil we might as well get some refineries so there we go and let's see that was chemical plants and Oil refineries there, and then mm, our sure, and then smelters probably. Let's see. Do we need any of these? Do we have any of these? That's here. Yeah. Let's bring twenty. One stack. And then this. Now I I did think in the previous episode that we didn't want to place these in the in the shipping stations because we wanted to ship these but for me to get these we need more parts and we also need to get to a location that has that material and i haven't seen any yet i believe it's quite rare this might be the resource that's behind uh, or on around black holes and that kind of star Mm, neutron star maybe as well I don't know let's see so might as well use these for now and might as well have many in the thing and 
on the last one, we place the warpers. Want to guarantee that the warpers happen. So we local demand those. And oh, vessels or the um, the small ones. I was going to I was going to place one here. So maybe this isn't enough. So let's expand that a bit. I'm not going to make more towers now. I feel like it's fine. We just need to make sure we have everything that's not in a tower now. And I think we do. I think we're going to add these and add some more fuel. No, don't need it. Um, I guess we add a few of these. Let's see. So we have some initial stuff. Power, power. We don't have many. Why do we not have many? Because we build this really, really, really slow. Possibly. Because we produce copper really, really, really slow. And oh, oh, we need to upgrade the belts. Okay. So this is something we should have done 17 episodes ago. I guess we didn't need it until now. There we go. Ta-da! Twice the amount of copper. You don't need to exist. You don't need to exist. We don't want to spend our inventory capacity for that right now, and not for the belt either. Been been a while since we placed. Since we recycled, haven't upgraded much lately. We haven't uh, had a need to. Maybe we should upgrade slightly here as well, though. We have yeah, we have a few stacks, so we can upgrade here. That looks needed. Um, anything down here that needs it doesn't look like it this one this is overkill <laughs> this is absolutely overkill oh well we probably just made the chain it was well it's as quick as making less because of the copy paste so, do we seem to have enough stuff now? I think we do. Uh, but inventory is, of course, a bit messy. Uh, which is fine. We have all the things we need, I think. I'm not sure why I'm bringing the collider. And, let's see. Just making sure. Power? Power is fine like this. But we were going to fill the last stack, right? Yes. And then I think we are fine. We can request what we need. That was the point, so we can actually leave. So, didn't we set up an arrow? Uh, oh, yeah, the arrow just went a bit through the planet. So, let's go. We also need to start the science. I'm going to do that when we, when we start the jump warp so the um, science oh, zoom and we're going there the science let's say let's do this one so we can start upgrading the mech I think that's a good plan other than that I think we're going to do the construction bots always nice also the burning do we have fuel? Yeah, we have fuel. Yeah, I think I think we're fine on all the things. So what we're we going to do? Let's let's go to one of these. Oh, I flew past something now. Let's go to this. Is that the moon? Yes. Ah, so this is this is the gas giant. Okay, so let's start here. Sure, if we manage to land, it's always a bit awkward to land on these. There we go. Now, this part, let's find a place. We are on the equator. Good. This is going to take a second, so that might not be what everyone wants to see, that hence the speed. It's uh, useful to have all of them, so I just want to place all of them right away. 
it does also empty out our inventory a bit. There we have the bots. We don't want any bot cruelty. And that would be all 40 of them. Now let's see if we find a planet we can land on. So we can start start um, speculating or start finding out where we want to build what. Maybe we should just go into space and let's see altitude of a thousand. I think that's needed to get away from the gravity field. There we go. So let's quickly check. Here we have this one, fire rise, that's not needed. Um, this one, sulfuric acid. And this one, organic crystal. Okay, so we are going to those two. So let's start with the closest one. That would be the other one. Um, yeah, let's start with the closest one. I'm just going to jump to that one. We have the fuel to jump to that one, so might as well. I'm glad we can jump oh, inside systems now. Okay, so which of the planets was this? And I guess we want to turn off the indicator now. This was the sulfuric acid one. Hopefully we have the water pumps. We do. Good. Uh, what else is on this planet? This is... It's tidal locked. And with high solar. So this might be the factory planet. Wow, that's... I don't think this is the one we saw in the last playthrough. Well, lucky us, I guess, if we use uh, solar panels. So let's use this pond then for the gathering. That's a really inconvenient pond. Does it not work at all? Is this not sulfuric acid? It is. Yeah, it's just... Oh well, we don't need a lot. I'm going to place five. I'm going... Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to place five, I think. And then we're going to find which side is turned against the sun and that would be the other side and where are we are we in the sunny side it was a bit hard to say but i guess the sun being that blue hmm. well this looks sunny let's quickly check yes and it points towards the sun i guess there yeah i'm so confused because i'm not sure why i should be confused though so let's um let's see how we're going to do this i guess this is almost at the middle so even if we miss let, let's start with the equator here then we just build a few if we build too many, we can just remove them after. So I think I'm okay with that. As long as we can, yeah, we, we have, uh, we can go all the way to the titanium-ish. Uh, I'm, well, I guess we can, we can just, because it doesn't write, eh? So we can just place them and then we can read off them. This looks funny. Oh, it goes up. Yeah, so we didn't need landfill. So this is the titanium. And here we have the break. Good. And intensity 3%, 27%, 39. Let's go to 50 here. So, boop, boop, boop. and let's use this instead. Then we just build the other way. 
So I think this planet would be a perfect like accumulation station. And this will probably also be the smelting planet of of the uh, star system. Lakovaita. Okay. Wait, isn't that bad? Maybe we should leave some for the other planet. Did we have solar panels in the shipping thing? I think we did. What we could do though, we have, we have, uh, let's see, in the system here, we are, we are making so much hydrogen right now. It's even 600 a minute of deuterium, that's 10 a second. So maybe we should have gone thermal. Oh, well. So we're, oh, there's things. Good. Let's connect those to power. There we go. And then we place them in one of these. Then we find out what else do we need for uh, this system. I, we we do need the other planets to mine uh, to mine a tiny bit of the uh, uh, organic crystals, right? Or was it something else? No, organic crystals, yes. That was there. So what we want is a tiny bit of power to mine that, but we don't need to do that yet. What we, I guess what we do here is we go to the shadow side. I guess that's, let's start at the titanium in case we want to move stuff. Titanium at the equator, that's probably a good place to start. We if we do one of these a second we need two so I am going to start there one a second but I'm going to make sure that all of the arrays that are made are um, expandable that's something I need to make sure of so that's six machines six this array is going to be absolutely massive, I think. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So you need three inputs. Quantum chip, fuel rods, and components. So the quantum chips, oh, th this is going to be... I'm, I'm going to build it a bit modular, I think. I'm going to go for... Oh, we don't have deuterium things. We don't have the the uh, collide. No, it's not colliders, fractionators. So we are going to have to be okay with so one a second, ten a second. That's exactly what we get from the from the gas giant. Lucky. So we need no. We need twelve of these a second. Two, two, sorry. One a second, two. So two of these a second means 12 machines. So let's just go for that. 15, 12. So this has an output that goes here and here. And you are the deuterium fuel rods. That's difficult. There. Set the recipe. So we have... <laughs> yeah, this is going to be... It, it is going to be great fun, but it's going to take a while to get all of these going. 
And after that, we also need to build sails. Let's, we don't need the move speed right now. Inventory capacity would be nice, but we are going to upgrade the drones first. Starting with the tasks and then speed. So one input is going to be, let's see, all of this should be expandable. So I'm going to place the tower here. I think that's a good position. This, yeah, because this is, let's see, this is an out tower. This is going, this is not going to be for these. No, it is. So we are also, th this is part of the array, but this is personal. And the personal thing needs power. Where's our power? There. Wait. Oh no, I'm setting up the array. Wrong. Time to demolish. Demolish here. That would be bad. Always, when setting up big arrays, set them east to west or west to east. Because if you don't, it's going to be pain with misalignment. So six machines here. And then we had a belt going, let's see, one and two belts we don't know yet. And then we have this one and we Two tiles between? Sure. And this one was 12 machines. 15, 12. Good. And then we... I wonder how long it's going to take me to uh, cry because building in the dark. It's... Yeah, it's going to be nice to be in the light again after this but we we can see enough to build at least so we need a tower and um, let's do it the same way let's just make sure everything's correct now it is uh, we are building a bit further to the west than expected but but that's fine it's not going to go all the way around to the bright side at the other side anyway and all of these that was the thing. They are going to start to the right and then we drag them left. So you will have rockets there and you will have deuterium. Um, deuterium. And then we need power. Yes. Last time when I did this, I borrowed so many items for rockets from other locations. So when I was finished, uh, many places were struggling with uh, stuff being taken from from uh, where it was supposed to be. And put into rockets and that was not good for science at least so I guess we just start demanding it might as well let it buffer hello what am I missing mm, possibly the power remote demand deuterium maybe there's not enough in Maybe we don't have a thousand in each of the things. I don't know. Well, let's check that. Yes, that was the issue. Uh, so that's the deuterium. And that's the one we need the most of, right? Yes. Oh yes, and I was going to set up the personal tower as well. Here we go. Now, a personal tower uh, and that's something I just placed to start importing 
uh, belts especially, I see that the belts are lacking. <laughs> so we... Um, how do we do this? Belt. Let's go with 1000. Right mod. Does it happen right away then? I don't know why maybe we didn't place the vessels let's place the vessels in here and then try yeah there we go well it is fine like this as well a thousand belts yeah it, it's good it's good anything else we need to import straight away I don't think so no, we have 500 machines. So here we have that and um, super magnetic rings. And this is going to be the third, that's the alloy. The super magnetic rings are going to come from, let's see, here. So we wanted, <coughs> oh, sorry, we wanted one a second, two a second, two a second. So that's six machines for those. Three, four, five, and six. And then we this is going to be so much but the only thing we really need to care about here is the green engines so we import this and we import that and this is the green engines so uh, the green engines come here so that's two a second that means we need four green engines a second which is mm, mm, for a second means eight machines. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This, when building like this, it starts with a few machine and then the production chains kind of plan it out like a Christmas tree. Uh, so I definitely need to set the recipes and I need to count one, two, four. And that means eight engines, eight engines, let's say. Engines are made in two seconds, so 16 machines. So that means one belt of something else here. And then we have the engines. That's nice. It's only a thousand though. Get more, please. Yes, he needs warpers to get more. Uh, so we have, let's see, the belt guys, not here, here, I think. Yes. That's the engines. One, two, four and eight engines, 16 machines. Wait, four of these is eight machines. Yeah, 16, okay, yeah, it is the two to one ratio. We've, we've done this a few times now. 16, 15, 16 engines. And that, that means we're at kind of at the bottom uh, but not really. So these need the same amount, right? Yeah, these need one, these need two, but twice as many machines. So to make eight of these a second, we need eight. That means we need uh, 16 of the squiggly bips. 16 of those, that's eight machines. So let's do that here. Let's see. Um, belt. 
one product, one product, uh, squiggly things here. And those come here. I like this way of setting it up. Like, this confused me. Because it's 3D. I know. Let's build it like so. This is probably going to give us a lot of the um, soil piles. So we needed eight, 16, so eight machines. I'm not going to copy it, I'm just going to get it here. Eight machines. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, we, we did copy it. There. Now, I like this way of building now that I think about it, because all of this is just plop down a new row, as long as the belt capacity holds. So that's good. But this, this is special. So this needs to either split or four of them needs to go up a floor. I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the split. And the reason for that, let's see, let's do it here. The reason for that is that if we expand, uh, we don't mess with the ratio of this. And that would be here, right? Because that's the, yes. This one doesn't need, this one doesn't need, and this one doesn't need anything, apparently. There we go. So now we are at the very bottom here. So that means, uh, that means we need the smelting for this. Ta-da, complete. We have all the rockets in the world. So, so let's set some inserters here so we can uh, make sure or we can say that we are done with that, this part at least. So power. Yeah, we're going to need these belts. Let's place a few more in 21, that's awkward. They need two each. There we go. So do we do smelting on this planet as well? I think we do because it's going to be so easy to power. So I guess we we um um do do we have all the resources? Yes. Not a lot of silicon. I don't think we need a lot of silicon. Uh, we need silicon for one of the chains, right? For these, yeah, for the processor parts. So. Um, let's do the sorters for this chain and make sure, let's see, this one needs, of course, another belt. We don't know which direction, that's why, that's why, uh, no uh, dragging it out. There we go, there we go, and of course out out just setting it up so when we have plopped the belt we can just drag it this one do we have coal on this planet not really do we have coal in the system at all yes okay good <laughs> uh, or else we could have of course made it from oil uh, the graphite or we could have shipped it always nice to have though there we go. Then we have the fuel. Needs three different items. Go here, and then we have the rockets. That has three items, and also has an output going somewhere here. I'm feeling like I'm building it very organized. That's good. 
it looks good. It's like uh, a Word document, really, where you align the text to the right. And uh, uh, yeah, without the fact that every time you move something in a Word document, everything gets messed up. Because if we move something here, it's not going to affect the other things. There we go. And power here and here. Oh. Why did I remove that? It would work, I think. Hmm. There. This is good. When this is done, when this is done, it's going to be extremely easy to duplicate. I'm very happy with the way I'm making this right now. Uh, as long as we have counted correctly right now, but I think we have. I hope we have. So we need smelting. And we want to get rid of that's, oh, th this is a nice spot for copper at least. But I guess we don't care about that. Let's see. I think we're just going to start like to the south of where we are. Yeah. Like here. I don't want to do smelting in that direction now. I want to do it in the other direction. Actually, I don't. I want to do it so it kind of aligns with what we do here-ish. So that's uh, here. 15. 30. Is this too far south? I didn't count how much we need, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two. And that's because they can share power points. Don't need to drag these, just placing the first so we have a measuring thing. And checking that they align, and they do, good. If not, it would have been not the location I wanted to build it. So in below, out above. There we go, and out this one. Go. Oh, and science is science is complete for both of these. Then I guess we don't need warp speed. We're not going to warp anywhere. We don't need that speed. Speed. I I don't feel like it matters. I think we're going to go for convenience. Move speed. That's convenient. Inventory capacities as well. So this is iron, probably. Yeah, let's do iron so we don't have to move this. And let's plop this down as close as possible. I don't remember how we. Oh, yeah, this was exactly how we did it. So this one is iron ore going here and here so you need to smelt iron and that means that means we can copy you both here and here and right now I see the numbers of smelters we have in our inventory it does not make for happy it does not bring joy Ah, we, we didn't miss those. That's good. And let's place the power while we are at it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, there. 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 <laughs> I feel like I'm I keep repeating myself with explaining why I put stuff where. So I end up with oh I shouldn't say this again so I just don't say anything which I guess isn't 
exactly better. So, <laughs> yeah. The psychology of YouTubing. There we go. Up goes in. And here. And you need power. connect the power to the whole to the whole place now i could just keep building and building and building and building all the way to finishing the rockets but i know that this is a big project and i am looking at the time so i think this is a very good spot to um, stop we have we have uh, gotten so much done in this episode i feel like this array is probably one of the more orderly I have made and it's also practical so I'm happy with it we have started the smelting we have ended up on this planet and also let's see here we need smelters before I forget we're going to import them maybe not 10,000 of them though so the reason we aren't getting them is probably because there aren't no because we aren't actually demanding them. Aha, we had a thousand. Right. So after building this star system, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all the stuff we leave behind. I guess we switch this to remote supply and see what happens. Oh well. So in the next episode, we get all the smelting we need, hopefully, and we'll um, start uh, doing more, doing the other lines. Like this one splits into one array and one array for gears. So I'm not going to build the gears here because that would mean we couldn't expand. So I'm going to put the gears somewhere else. I think those are so simple that we might actually make them part of the smelting thing. Uh, but we'll see. I'll have a think about that and then we see what we make in uh, modules, what we make in other locations and what we make here. But this is nice. I think this isn't so complicated and so this one doesn't branch off. This one doesn't branch off because these two are just smelted. This one does though because this is a bit more complicated than just the smelting. Actually, it's not. I'm going to make this in a different place and just ship it in, I think. And this one, of course, have two big, big uh, branches. So this is just, this part is one branch. We built that today-ish. Then we have the two others. So. so huge amount of stuff to do and we also need to import the organic crystals which means we need solar panels so let's just set those up as well just in case we get a thousand i don't think we will in a long long time i think what was it nine a minute that might have been something else i don't know anyway anyway i'm happy with this this is a good start of our new adventure to a new system, the Ecolorous system. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the spaghetti. Bye bye.